The growth of the redeemed Christian Church of God can best be described as the fulfillment of prophecies, the manifestation of God's words in the midst of his people. One can describe it, for easy understanding, as the manifestation of God's commandment in the book of Genesis to Abraham, to the effect that he should go and multiply. That is what is coming to fore and what is becoming reality in the life of the redeemed Christian Church of God. The church started as a small prayer group more than half a century ago in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. By the grace of God, in fulfillment of his promise to the man through whom he established the church, as at November 1980, when Pa Josiah Akindayomi went to be with the Lord, the redeemed Christian Church of God had grown to 39 parishes in number. To many, that was a lot within two and a half decades. Little did they know that the owner of the church, God Almighty, was only clearing the fields for what was to follow. I shout a very big hallelujah. The Holy Ghost Night was initially accommodated within the premises of the redeemed Christian Church of God headquarters in Ebutemeta, Lagos. But when the program, which started as an agreement between the general overseer of the church and his daddy, to borrow the name the general overseer calls God, received the total acceptance of all the ministers of God in the church and all the children of God within and outside the church, Due to the many miraculous works of God Almighty, an alternative plan had to be made for space. For this, the plots of land which God had made available for the church on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway became very useful. For many years now, children of God, not necessarily from the redeemed Christian Church of God alone, and not only Christians, have attended the Holy Ghost Nights to meet with God and experience his great power every first Friday of the month, except on very rare occasions during the church annual convention in August, and very rarely in December during the annual congress when the Holy Ghost Nights are shifted. Hallelujah. Now, how many of us are coming to Festival of Life for the first time? This is your first time. Uh-oh. All right. The Lord will give you a first time miracle in Jesus' name. It's where they said that the parents were buried. Now, this is not a miracle you can manipulate. This is, hey, this hey, is God. Hey. Will somebody please help me shout hallelujah to the most high God? Hallelujah. Even the monthly Holy Ghost Nights at the Redemption Camp are not mere gatherings which are attended by people as a ritual. Each one is divinely instructed and the themes are as well divinely instructed. Not too long ago, university campuses in Nigeria started playing host to Holy Ghost Nights. Universities of Ibadan, Obafemi Awolo University in Ileife, University of Adoikiti, University of Lagos, and University of Ilori are among those where campus Holy Ghost Nights have been held. The redeemed Christian Church of God has also been blessed to be used by God towards developing future generations by educating them. In this regard, the church has become a formidable partner with the government in the area of providing that much needed social service. From the foundation to the highest point, the church has been able to make its mark with schools spread across the country. The Redeemers University, which started only a few years ago, has had a smooth run so far with uninterrupted, morally strong and world-acknowledged standard of university education. The Redeemed Christian Bible College, which provides the needed training up to postgraduate level for those who want to serve God, is one of the most recognized amongst his kind in Nigeria. The School of Missions also provides training.
from just a few number of people starting the church. The redeemed Christian Church of God has witnessed so much growth in the number of laborers in God's vineyard, ministers that the Almighty continues to use for His people, that it has become impossible for the ministers to sit in one gathering as it used to be a few years back. Now, the ministers' conference is held in three separate locations at separate times within each year. For those in the northern part of Nigeria, the conference holds in Jos, Plateau State. All those in the eastern part of Nigeria gather in Port Harcourt for the annual conference. The Redemption Camp hosts the convergence of ministers from the western part of the country. Apart from the four mentioned conferences for ministers, in the last few years, ministers have had to even meet separately, either as male ministers for fellowship with the general overseer, or as female ministers who sit in conference with the wife of the general overseer. These programs hold annually, and they are both towards further spiritual upliftment of the laborers in God's vineyard. Besides preaching the gospel, we in the redeemed Christian Church of God have taken the lead in meeting the needs of our immediate environment by demonstrating the love of Christ to everyone that comes our way, seeing challenges as opportunities for preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, well, Holistic Outreach um, was started as a response to the issue that uh, the girl child in our society is facing today. It was a burden of the heart of our mommy in the Lord, Mommy Jill, Pastor Mrs. Polo Adeboye, to help alleviate the suffering of the girl child. She was burdened about the girls hawking on the street and the girls in prostitution and just the abandoned girls and was desiring to do something about it and God heard her cry. I'm Jason Ofo. It's an arm of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We are in charge of rehabilitating street boys within age limits of 7 to 17 years. As the name implies, Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry is a ministry that caters to the treatment and rehabilitation of drug addicts, whether male or female, young or old. And that's what we've been doing for like 21 years, uh, bringing people to the knowledge of the saving grace of Christ, and then also coming back to live their lives again, reintegrated back into society, and to start the business and lead their lives again. In the fight against HIV AIDS, the church's impact is felt through the activities of the Redeemed AIDS Program Action Committee, RAPAC. RAPAC was inaugurated in May 1996 by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboy. Around us, irrespective of their faith, we believe that Christ's message resonates loud and clear when our ministry extends to those who, for whatever reason, find themselves on the fringes of society, such as the poor, deprived, vulnerable, and incarcerated. Very often, love shown in a practical manner goes a longer way than spoken words. The church has as its vision to make heaven, to take as many people as possible along, and to have a member in every family of all nations, among others.